What's happening guys, so I wanted to give a quick update since my last video that I did, which by the way, a couple people sent me some really nice messages on that video, and I didn't really think a whole lot of it when I created that video, but I was just a little overwhelmed by a couple of responses I got about how much it kind of helped some people, so thank you very much for the people that did reach out to me, and for anyone that that helped, I'm really glad that it did, and uh, I just, I really appreciate that, it really, you know, it really makes a... The time and effort you put into things really feel worth it. You know, as a trainer, you other trainers out there, you know, sometimes it kind of feels like you're not reaching people. When it, when you find out you do, it, it just, you know, it hits home. So anyway, I want to touch on that real quick. But what I wanted to talk about was this next session. What you're seeing here, this was from Friday of last week. The previous session that I had a really tough session with was on Monday. So my very next session was this one, which went extremely, extremely well. And actually, after my, for my tough session from Monday, I actually ran into Paul Ravella as I was about to leave and you know one of the things he talked about was it was quite frequent that he normally experienced when he had a really bad session and either the next one or maybe the one after ends up being really good and that's just it's something that's really good to keep in mind because I think a lot of us really have a tendency to kind of freak out when things don't go right and we have a bad session and you just have to kind of understand that bad sessions are going to happen and you don't necessarily have to just dive into all the different reasons why it possibly was a bad session you know what I mean like you don't have to go okay how was my nutrition? How was my sleep? You know, is my training program okay? Am I doing too much? Am I not doing enough? Am I doing this wrong? Am I doing th that wrong? It's just, for one bad session, it's just gonna drive you crazy and it makes no sense. You wanna, I mean, if you see a, a trend, if you are constantly overly fatigued all the time and you're feeling completely run down all the time, yes, you're gonna wanna take a look at things and try to figure out what's going on and, and figure out if maybe you just need to deload or if you need to make some changes or what. But if you just have one session that does not go right, that does not mean that what you're doing is wrong or bad or, or not optimal. It just means you had a bad session. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, what you're seeing here is bench press, and this was actually pretty significant, which if you, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, it's Colin Away. I usually post at least one of my sets from my different training sessions on there. And I, I post that a lot more frequently than I do on YouTube. So if you just want to see my list, that's a good place to go. Just my name, Colin Away. But anyway, this bench, this was literally the first time in years that I had absolutely zero pain in my shoulder or my elbow. I usually had at least one or the other. So it was really nice to be benching pain-free finally. I've been doing this physical therapy with Jamie Alumbra and she is absolutely phenomenal. If you are in the Tampa area and you need somebody to help, I definitely recommend her. Can't recommend her enough. And she's helped tremendously and now it doesn't mean my shoulder is fixed and everything's totally better, but it is remarkably better than where it used to be and I'm on my way and once I get this shoulder completely where it needs to be it's still just a little bit tight at the very top when I raise my arm but once I get that where I need it to be then she's gonna take a look at my hip because I still have a little bit of hip pain which I've talked about in the past and, and it's still bothering me a little bit so I'm gonna have her go through that and we'll get these things fixed and hopefully I can just concentrate on training all the time but at least I'm able to train at least I'm able to can I push through and you know go from there so Deadlifts have been feeling absolutely phenomenal. I cannot be happier with the way deadlifts are feeling right now. I'm absolutely ecstatic about how good they feel. Everything is moving really smoothly. Everything feels great with the timing, the positioning. Everything is just fantastic with my deadlift right now. So I'm really hoping that's going to carry over because right now I'm still pretty light. I'm, I'm still working really sub-maximally most of the time if I'm not feeling like absolute crap like it was last Monday. But it's going really well, so I'm, I'm hoping once the weight gets heavier that can that'll continue. You know, sometimes things feel really good, but then when the weight gets up there, it's just... It doesn't feel as good, or you have a tendency to go back into old habits because it's going to be a little bit more challenging, and, and you don't think about some of the right things. But anyway, for right now, deadlifts feel great. Really, honestly, everything's feeling really good right now, so just happy with the progression that I'm having with this comeback, and I'm just taking things slow and progressing really well, and you know just looking forward to it so i'll probably have one more week with the kind of really later work that i'm doing here twice a week and then i am going to disney with the family it's my wife's birthday and we're going to do disney from wednesday to sunday this week so i'm really looking forward to that and then we'll come back probably do an intro week into my next training block and we'll probably go back into three times a week with squat and bench and uh, of course still continue to work sub maximally and all that, but we'll start picking that up a little bit. So I'm excited and I'll be able to start lifting a little bit heavier. We'll probably have fours in there. So I'm, I'm excited to be pushing some heavier weight and we'll just see where things go. So anyway, that's all I had. I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's reached out to me and I hope everyone's doing well and I will talk to you in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.